Number 15 then from the 2018 SQ Advanced Higher Mathematics of Mechanics. Six mark question, only one for the last part though. And what's it look like? You've got a spring again. So a spring is attached to a fixed point here. The other end is attached to a block of wood on a smooth horizontal surface so there's no friction here so it can slide quite freely. The spring is stretched so the block moves, what does it say, 1.5 metres from its rest position. So that's where it would be if the spring wasn't stretched and you pull it back to here. However, you don't just let it go, which would be sufficient for it to go back, but you actually project it back a bit with a speed of 0.5 metres per second. The subsequent motion, it says, can be modelled by this differential equation where x represents the displacement from the rest position, so that's the distance x there. Solve the second order differential equation and use the initial conditions. Now the initial conditions are what happens at the start. You pulled it back, so at the start, which is t equals 0, the displacement was positive 1.5 and the speed, which is x dot, was negative 0.5 because you set it off in its way. I'll put the units in, but I'll be putting them into the equation. So, solve that to determine an expression for x in terms of t. In other words, an expression that will give the displacement to any time. Now, it doesn't actually matter, I suppose, whether you recognise that as representing this motion or not, because effectively it just says solve that equation. But if you ignore that middle term, that's the equation for simple harmonic motion. The acceleration equals, and if you take this across, negative something times negative omega squared, in fact, x. And this extra middle term introduces a damping factor, so that without the middle term, this would just oscillate back and forwards, but with the middle term, this will undergo a damping and gradually come to rest. If it even gets as far as to overshoot and go back and forth, it depends how strong the damping is. But you don't need to do any of that because it just says solve this. Then we'll see what happens. Right, so that means the first stage is you've got a second order because you've got this second derivative here, differential equation. It's equal to zero, so it's just a homogeneous differential equation. So the first step is to set up the auxiliary equation. Because if you've got some function, and its derivative, and its second derivative, all coming to zero, that function must be something that essentially doesn't change. And the prime candidate for that would be, I don't mean y, because it's x is what we've got, x equals e to the something. So we'll just put mt. And if you popped it into there, and cancelled out the e to the mt's, you'd end up with this. m squared plus 0.4m plus 0.04 equals zero. It's a bit of a pest that you haven't got integers there because you're used to factorising it with integers, if it factorises at all, because you might have to use the formula, for instance, especially if you had imaginary roots. One way to check it, if you don't spot what's happening here, is to do the discriminant quickly. What's the discriminant? So that would be b squared, which is 0 0.16, because it'll have two decimal places, minus four of them, so that's also 0 0.16, the discriminant is zero. Now, the discriminant being zero means you know it's a perfect square. It's a pair of equal roots to that. And if that's the case, that must be twice it. So it must be m plus 0 0.2. So if that's the case, that means m equals negative 0 0.2 twice, if you like. Repeat it. I'll put that down. I don't think you need to put it down. I'll put it down anyway. Which means that the equation will be for the complementary function, which will be the general solution here. The equation will be x equals, now since it's repeated, I'll have some law of e to the negative 0.2t plus b lots of, now I can't have the same thing again because then that'd only be one solution, rather there'd only be one constant, and you have to have two coming out of a second order differential equation. So bt e to the negative 0.2t. Now, doing that's two marks so far because there was one mark for getting the auxiliary equation and there's another mark for ending up with this solution. But now we have to find a and b, so that's where we go to the initial conditions. When t is zero, 
x equals 1.5. So I've got 1.5 equals a e to, and when t is 0, that's 0. And when t is 0, that whole thing's 0. So straight away, a equals 1.5. I'll just rewrite it with that. You don't need to, but I'll put it in. 1.5, all depends on how nasty that number is, because I'm not going to be having to write that down several times. And it's easier just to write down an a. Negative 0.2t plus bt e to the negative 0.2t. Now to use the other initial condition, which is at time zero, the velocity, negative 0.5, I'll need to differentiate this. So that's going to be, that's a negative. So that'll be negative. Now, two of them would be three, but it's 0.2, so it's 0.3 e to the negative 0.2t. Plus, now there's a product. I think I'll just take the b out of that product. So I've only got it written down once. So it'll be differentiate this, which is just one. I'll show it. One times, leave that one alone. And then leave that and differentiate that, which will be negative 0 0.2 e to the negative 0 0.2t. Now, you don't need to tidy it up because you're just going to put numbers into it. So now using the second initial condition, which is x dot is negative 0.5. I've got this. x dot is negative 0.5. That's going to be negative 0 0.3 e to the 0 plus b times. That's e to the 0. And that whole thing's just 0 because it's t times. It doesn't matter what that lot is because 0 times anything is 0. So that simplifies that right down because b, that's just 1. That just means b is going to equal, and that's just 1, that across to there, which is negative 0 0.2. Now, I forgot the marks. There was a mark, one mark for getting the first constant, a. There was a second mark for differentiating it. And the third mark will be, no, sorry, the last of those marks will be for finding b and then just putting it all back. So x is going to be a was 1.5 e to the negative 0.2t. b is negative, so minus 0.2 t e to the negative 0.2 t, and there's five marks for you. Part B says, hence calculate how far the block of wood has moved after two seconds. Well, I'll just mention this bit, but I don't think I meant to, to know this. That solution to that differential equation shows that there's no oscillatory motion. Notice how there's no sine or cosine terms. There's no sinusoidal terms. This is the case where it's called, in fact, I can see from these numbers, it's actually called where it's critically damped, where it just glides to rest in the shortest possible time. Because there's no friction, it will actually go back to the original position. Which simplifies the problem, because if it did have oscillatory motion, and two seconds was longer than half the period, then of course you'd have to add up the portions back and forwards. But because this just says it's gliding slowly back to rest, then at two sec, whatever it is after two seconds, that'll be the distance it's moved. I don't think you need to understand actually the, the interpretation of that solution to do this. I'm sure they just wanted you to see this. If t equals two, what's the value of x? Well, that means x will be 1.5 e to the negative 0 0.2 times 2 minus 0 0.2 times 2. It's just lots of numbers to put into a calculator. 2 e to the negative 0 0.2 times 2. So let's just pop that lot in. And when you do that, you get x equals 0 0.737. Just took that as a common factor just to see when pressing some buttons meters. However, that's not the final answer. That's its displacement after two seconds. So the distance moved, and there's no name for this, there's no variable name for this, so I'll just have to write it. Distance moved. It was originally 1.5 meters from that equilibrium position, or in this case, from its final resting place, minus the 0.737 which means the answer is going to be 0 0.7, that makes it the 14, 6, 3 metres. And all of that 
for one mark.